day cancer we're here for your june generals so these will be extended you can find the extended link in my patreon in the description box below if you're watching on youtube patreon you'll have to go to um patreon sorry i know tiktokers i'm getting used to this tiktok thing um it's really hard for me so i can't put my link tree on there but i am on on patreon as divine the guide with love so if you just look on the patreon and that for divinely guided with love and you can find all your extended there or well, come over to youtube and follow me on youtube and you can get my links easier to instagram facebook things like that i go live on facebook at times so right so i'm going to get you a guidance for the month of june we have opportunity to forgive an opportunity to forgive this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other persons in a divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings and energies and lift you to a high place of peace and compassion. If I'm talking weird, it's because I've had some dental work. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, it seems like that may be like it might not even go into your card, but it does feel like there's an energy of you kind of releasing negative patterns, releasing people with love, releasing past memories, you know, even if it's been like negative, that type of thing, you're releasing them. It, it's almost like you're kind of forgiving the universe. Um, not everybody deserves forgiveness, but you deserve to cut the cord. You know, you deserve to forgive yourself for allowing them to, you know, cause hatred or anger with inside you. So, I do like that energy. So, take that as it resonates. But I'm going into your cards now before I go into the extender where it'll be a, a lot deeper reading. But I do clarify everything. Yeah, we've got the Five of Water at present. So, there is some kind of, like, regret energy. You know, the Five of Water, the Five of Cups is about looking to the past, looking at your cups that have spilled over. Um, so there is an energy of kind of like revisiting the past, especially within emotions or, um, you know, the feels, that type of things. Things didn't turn out the way you'd hoped in the past. It's, it's like regrets and that type of thing. But I do feel like June is giving you the opportunity to kind of clear that out. Yeah, what's crossing that now is that we've got the Nine of Fire, which is the Wounded Warrior. Don't give up, protect yourself. Uh, protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So it's like getting that courage back up. You know, some of my Cancerians, September could be significant. But, yeah, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is starting to spin because you are going through this release. So you may already be there. You know, you may be looking back at the past and, do you know what, I need to deal with this. I need to stop internalising these emotions or these thoughts because it just keeps coming back around, whether it be with one person or one situation. The cycle keeps replaying until we've finished that lesson. You know, the universe gives us the same lesson in a different gift wrap, you know, and I feel like you've got to that point where you're sick of, like, undoing that gift wrap. You're sick of finding the same thing. You know, it just feels like you're on this, like, cycle. But the Wheel of Fortune is saying there's a time of positive change. You know, a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. So the situation is moving forward. You've got that Wheel of Fortune. It's coming in good. So in the recent past, we've got the Queen of Water, which is your energy. A past is Cancer Scorpio. You may be dealing with a past is Cancer Scorpio. Um, relationships develop to a new level trust your intuition care for yourself and others you know the queen of water is very like psychic very loving very patient very tender very like empathic she she's that type of energy maybe you got stung you know by being too nice to people or you, you know and maybe like you're kind of looking back and as, as in to say why do i always get kind of shit on uh, you, you know when i'm nice to people when i'm a good person We've got that Ace of Air at present. The Ace of Air can be, it's its truthful, it's clarity, you know, there's nothing better than the Ace of Air, but it can also hurt. It can be challenging because you, it's the truth. Do you know what I mean? And the truth hurts sometimes. So I do feel like there's definitely like an internalised energy going on around cancer uh, this month, you know. But there is, you know, the Ace of Air carries brilliant new ideas, you know, seeing the truth of a situation. So it's all kind of rolling in. So maybe you're looking at yourself as in to say, do you know what, I've, I've got all my hand up. I did this or I stayed or it wouldn't have happened if I'd have done this. Do you know what I mean? But then 
you kind of put that to the side as well because you can't live in an element of regret. I always think this about like my past DV, like I should have rang the police, I should have pressed charges, I should have done this, I, should... I can't go back. And that has carried resentment all the way through my life. So this year is my year of completely letting it go. So that may resonate. Um, it could be even things from your from your childhood, you know, that type of thing. It feels like with the nine of fire, you're constantly feeling like you have to defend yourself or you have to have like your guard up. But you don't because the wheel of fortune is starting to spin in your favour. You know, you are seeing the truth of that situation or those people, you know, whatever it is. Because going forward, you've got the seven of fire again. It's this defensive energy, but in the sense of you've already got the higher ground. So in the seven of wands card, usually they're not even in the card. The, the attackers, the people who want to try and feed on you, that type of thing. They're not even in the card. So we've got the seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. So it's almost like, I kind of want to say, if people have been taking me out of you and, you know, it's almost like get to that point where you stand your ground, you learn to say no, but you don't react. It's just like a, no, sorry, that's not for me. And then you just don't react, you know, because you're feeding it and it's also getting you angry when you're reacting so choose the battles wisely yeah, there is definitely a defense like protecting yourself but protecting yourself is just boundaries you know having healthy boundaries and especially with yourself so then things don't happen again don't lower your boundaries the wheel of fortune is definitely spinning in your favor there could be some contracts coming in for my cancerians within the next 12 weeks um i was seeing signed documents then your power is the sun but then again it could be karmic contracts that you're kind of getting rid of with all this happy outcomes brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself see you've got the ace of air there again brilliant new ideas and inspirations so at the same time as all this is going on like emotionally the things that you're internalizing up here, we've got some kind of truth and clarity and ideas on how to move forward with something. It looks like some kind of big idea, but I were seeing signed, signed documents. The outside influence to that is review and evaluate a favourable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. Someone could be assessing you. You know, it could be work, that type of thing, or you're going through a, new, a review or evaluation, that type of thing. There's some kind of assessment of the facts Um but it is time to move in a new direction. So if there is something going on with facts, assessments, interviews, that type of thing, you've got the power to make that shine. You've got the power to kind of stand out. So I do like that. There's definitely, um, it's like your mind is going to be switching off to the defence so then it can let through with this Wheel of Fortune, the good ideas, the things that are going to be coming up to change your life. So you're leaving the past and making room. It's like emptying the bank vaults of the mind. In your hopes and fears, we've got the Six of Fire, which is victory. You know, good news on its way. So some of you are waiting for some kind of good news. You're waiting for that victory. It's like, do you know what? It's my time to win. That Wheel of Fortune is saying it is your time to win. It is your time to be a winner. It is your time to get what you really want. You know, some kind of recognition or, you know, just being happy and you're sick of defending yourself. You've got to find where you feel like you have to defend yourself because you shouldn't be in them situations anyway. Always defend your beliefs, but going forward, we've got the Eight of Water as your outcome. I like this, the Eight of Cups. To me, the Eight of Cups is that trophy cabinet of pain. We need to lock it up and throw away the key because sometimes we keep going back to the old trophies and polishing them, them old trophies, expecting them to shine like they first did when we first got them. Doesn't happen. Same with like old relationships and stuff like that. Lock the cabinet door and go and open your new one because the Eight of Fire is... is, is I can't even talk. <laughs> a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful. You know, spiritual and emotional growth. So this month is definitely holding some kind of like emotional growth for yourself. Things like you've been internalising for quite a while are coming to the surface so it can be released and then you can, you know, bring in better with the Wheel of Fortune. So I love that reading, Cancer. So if this is where I leave you, I leave with lots of love. And if I'm meeting you all from the extended, I'll see you all there now. Bye.